Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. So if you were watching my uh, build a workbench series where I built this lovely beastie, um, you'll know that I'm at the stage where I need to uh, drill some holes in the bench top um, so that I've got can use bench dogs. Um, so as well as using bench dogs for planing against and just sort of generally holding wood, I've uh, managed to get some of these. These are hold fast, which I got for my birthday. This is a high quality piece of kit these ones quite expensive I've just got the two at the moment see how we go uh, and with that kit I'll link to it down below but I'm, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that uh, with it came a, an arbor drill bit which I've tried which is really really good okay so basically we need to drill some holes in the bench I'm quite scared about that for obvious reasons I don't really want to cock it up um, but yeah that's what we're gonna do in this uh, video today we're gonna drill some holes through our bench and hopefully start using these uh, hold fasts. These things, I don't know, they must have probably been around a thousand plus years. I'm, you know, it's probably the oldest system that there is for fixing stuff to your bench and probably it's still the best. Okay, let's get you over to the bench and I'll show you my plan. Um, so during the construction of the bench, I, uh, so these laminated pieces are screwed together using 30 mil screws. So, Although I probably could have just glued them and clamped them, I wanted to use, I didn't want to uh, go away from the, uh, I didn't want to go off piste too much and do it differently to how I was sort of supposed to do it. So I used the screws, even though I knew that there would be a problem when it came to dr drilling holes for bench dogs. Anyway, luckily I've got a video of me doing it so I could remember where I put them. Uh, and I spaced them out. So, so basically there's one set of screws an inch and a half from this end and the others are from the middle 20 centimetres, 40 centimetres and 60 centimetres. So I have marked with tape um, with a sort of inch either side of where I think those uh, screws are. So I then have to find an evenly spaced system along the length of the bench because I, I want them to be nice. Well, they've got to look nice. In fact, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Surely um, I need them to be evenly spaced. Uh, yeah, down down the length of the bench. So I've spent quite a bit of time laying this out. I don't want to get it wrong. And basically I've got these, which are three and a half inches in from each corner. And then I've got 29 centimeters. I'm mixing my uh, measurements again, but that's because I'm a child of the seventies. Uh, yeah, so it'll look something like that. And then that carries on all the way down the bench, missing out um, the legs there. Yeah, missed the leg and also missing out the um, vice. So I'm gonna leave a gap around the vice. I may put some uh, bench dog holes at some point near the vice, but I'm not quite sure about that yet. Okay, so that's the first stage. So the second stage, and the second thing that I was worried about is getting this drill bit nice and straight when I drill it. So I'm gonna use my power drill, obviously, not, not, the, uh, not the battery drill. So I've made a template with two holes, Nicely lined up, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and that's exactly three and a half inches, inches from the edge of the bench. The idea is that A, I'll get them in the right place, and B, that should give me a bit of um, guidance to get them the right angle. Um, as far as the depth is concerned, I can go basically to this part of the, of the drill bit, and that will take my point just through the bottom of the bench and then I'll come up from the bottom to make sure although this is supposed to be able to exit cleanly I don't know if I'll risk it I might risk it on one of the middle holes and see how we go so that's the plan uh, yeah I'm gonna clamp these as I go all the way to avoid any error that's the idea okay let's do it <laughs>
Okay, we have a, a hole underneath. Oh, it gets quite uh, blocked up. I need to clear the drill as I go, obviously. both ways I think would be good. gone all the way through and it's gone through clean didn't mean to this is a bit uh, quite crazy this okay that's the first hole drilled Okay, that's the holes drilled. Very impressed with that uh, auger bit. It's gone clean through without any um, tear out underneath. Really, really good. I will sand round the holes slightly, but uh, pretty good clean cut. Uh, slightly off on the first two that I did. Basically the drill was 
kick in and it gave it a bit of an angle but once I got the hang of that it's all good they look like they're well spaced they look straight everything's good should I spin you around so you can have a look don't know if you can even see those but yeah okay let's try these hold fasts I've not used them before so I don't really know what I'm doing but we'll give it a go so we get a piece of wood oh, I, I didn't say earlier on that uh, the spacing between the holes was um, determined by basically that width there so they had to sort of overlap so any piece of wood should be within reach of these uh, hold fast even across even across the vise there I'm pretty much yeah to be honest I don't think I need any extra holes not for these anyway okay so let's uh, put a couple in and try holding a bit of wood so we get our piece of wood not sure you can see that very well let's just tilt it slightly Sorry about the dog kicking off. So, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna work on this piece of wood, but if it was a wider board or something, uh, or if I was butting up against um, the bench dogs that I'm gonna make. Okay. There you go, that is not going anywhere. That is rock solid. So you basically just whack them in with that to take them off, kick it, tap it on the back, job done. I'm not sure if I'd be able to hold just one, we can try it. Yeah, it'll hold it down but not uh, across. Bit of practice, we'll be good. I think I probably need to use a piece of wood just to stop it damaging the top surfaces. Okay, okay, so that's those fitted. Uh, obviously, I was a bit nervous about drilling holes in my lovely bench, but um, it's turned out okay. All about the planning, isn't it? So these are really nice bit of kit. Uh, I think I paid fifty quid, quite a lot of money, really, for for these. Uh, but I haven't got any facilities to make my own, and I didn't want to use cheapo ones. So I thought I'd, uh, well actually I didn't pay for them because they were a birthday present, but yeah. So it's worth getting the right thing and the uh, having the, the bit included, very, very helpful because it doesn't mean, it means you don't have to quite try and find the bit at the local DIY store. Anyway, so that's it. That's the next thing done. Uh, we'll be, next up we'll be making some actual bench dogs uh, or, and a planing stop uh, for those, uh, to fit those holes. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll link to the bench essentials uh, playlist here. See you soon.